the things that we use in our garden to uh, help deter four-legged um, mammals is red pepper flakes and we buy ours in bulk um, one thing that we are very careful with since we've gotten our pup maggie sapper pup maggie is we make sure not to put red pepper flakes in areas that she may play in or wander into we do it in some of our garden beds that we know she can't get into we do it in areas that she's not going to frequent uh, often and if we do take her to an area where there may be some we always make sure that we have her on the leash that she can't just run free you know do what puppies do jump into a bed, a bed sniff around because red pepper flakes are good at deterring pests like rats squirrels uh, possums raccoons that have you know good sense of smell they get near it they sniff it in and they want to go someplace else quick uh, it also works uh, similarly with uh, snakes i've been told but it's more for the four-legged pests that may jump in digging your beds sniff around for plants rabbits uh, but you definitely do not want your pets to get into this because I'm I'm sitting here right now just with it open and I can smell this already and it's already uh, I won't say it's a uh, painful to me because as humans our sense of smell is not that acute but it's unpleasant so you can imagine how it would be for you know a dog a cat other things like that they don't want to be around it so I'm about to uh, fill up a container and go sprinkle it in our potato bed where we've got some digging going on and hopefully that will deter whatever is digging in there now. The other thing with this is after it's been wet a few times, it, it's not effective anymore. So you have to reapply it uh, fairly regularly during the spring season where uh, the pests are most active trying to get food because they're breeding and they've got, you know, small uh, broods so you have to reuse this a lot you know at least weekly uh, if not more if you're getting a lot of rain and also you don't want to do it if it's raining outside or you know it's gonna rain the next day you want it to be there a few days to effectively uh, let the pest know that's not where they want to be so let me fill up my little uh, reuse recycle container <laughs> and I'm gonna go sprinkle it in the garden bed Attention. Did I mention that we buy this in bulk? We've got two containers here. We've got one here on top of our dog food. And we've got another one with the black top over there. So we get a 50 pound bag. We get a 50 pound bag of the red pepper flakes. And I want to say it's maybe $40. And that lasts us usually a year or two. So it seems like a lot, but it's not a lot. And uh, we just keep uh, spreading it out, putting it on. Where am I at? And we just keep putting it on. And uh, eventually the pests learn not to come back. But as they breed and new ones are born, you got to just redo it every year. And a few times, you know, a month, just until they learn what areas are good to go into and which areas are not to go into.